So at the bottom, it literally says who needs therapy. Probably me. But instead, we're going to do our drink girls night. I could see this being really fun with a group of girls. I feel like... Maybe not the first time you hang out with someone, though. Because I've met some girls on Bumble BFF and made some friends. And that's all good, fun, and dandy. However, I don't know if I would play this with girls that I just met for the first time. Maybe, like, the third or fourth time we hang out. I could see that. But... I don't know. How vulnerable do you want to get? How much trauma do you want to dump? How crazy are you willing to be? Because, I mean, if you're very like-minded girls, who knows? <laughs> oh, this one is perfect for me. Admit to the group your worst ghosting story or drink five times. I'll tell you my worst ghosting story. Now, this was a story of me getting ghosted, not me doing the ghosting. There was this one guy that I met at a bar and we vibed and got along and we decided that we weren't going to hook up. Instead, we wanted to go on a legit date together. So we did. And... I was living by myself, working a full-time big girl job with commission and full-time hours and overtime and lots of responsibilities. And he still lived with his parents, which no shame, and made a little less money than I did. And so after that date, he left in the middle of the night when I was passed out. And I messaged him and I said, hey, the fuck? And um, I got left on red. So I stupidly replied again. I said, hey, the fuck? And uh, basically he's like, you talked about yourself too much. You bragged about your job. And we don't have as much in common as I thought we did. And I'm like, cool. Would have been nice if you had told me that in person instead of, leaving me on red and essentially ghosting me, but noted, thank you.